that sting only means one thing. Yes, it's a sweet <laughs> treat for our tea break today. <laughs> That's it. And Catherine, you have a handy red velvet Cupcake. cake. Cupcake. Yeah. A bun recipe. Basically a bun, yeah. Good one. But this recipe is slightly different because before you came to me here, I've done a bit of creaming. I've creamed together 125 grams, that's four ounces of butter at room temperature, and, um, sorry, 150 grams, five ounces of butter, and 125 grams, four ounces of sugar. Okay. So I've combined them together just to save on the noise. With the, the mixer. Yep, so we just give it one more spin. Now, into that, we just add the remaining ingredients. And they are 175 grams, that's six ounces, of our self-raising flour. Mm -hmm. To that, we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa, sieved. Now, don't use drinking chocolate because there's sugar in drinking chocolate. Oh, and right. if you've too much sugar in the recipe, you get a very hard crust okay. on your bun or your cupcake. That's good, though. Do you not want a nice crunchy no, crust? Yeah, it's no, it's soft. No, you don't okay. want it too crunchy. Oh, no. no. You're Maybe wrong. that's where I've gone wrong because we only have drinking chocolate, but I thought it was the same thing. No, there's sugar in drinking And you chocolate. have to sieve it as well. Yeah, no, well, you, see, you have to sieve cocoa because it's very lumpy. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, enjoying you being worse Once it goes in me. there, you crunch it all up and stuff. Yeah, well, that'll work with the drinking chocolate. It won't work with the cocoa. It's very hard to see, beat away. I learned something see, new There you go. Time is going to be top in. chef before we're finished. Well, no, we're not. But two um, eggs. Yeah, OK. Two large eggs, by the way. And we're going to add two teaspoonfuls. This is what makes it the red velvet. Yes. Mm. Two teaspoonfuls of our red colouring. And, and this can I quite give you handy a tip? with the kids as well, oh, they'd love it. it. They'd love it. And if you leave the cocoa out, you just have nice queen cakes, do you? You have, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. But it'll affect the um, the end result, we're in because oh, okay. there's two tablespoons. That's equivalent to two ounces of flour. You'd have to add extra flour. flour that's the cake. Right. Okay. Now I don't know where I put the top of my cap. Oh, here it is, rolled away on me there. Now just a tip. What was that? Be yeah? very careful. Okay. Because if you get that on your hands, oh, you're there. Oh, you're, you're in terrible my trouble. My son. Got in, he's one. Yeah. Opens every cupboard. Got colouring. Colouring, green colouring. Oh, good Shook night. Shook it everywhere. Oh, I swear, murdered nightmare. him. Nightmare. Well, I didn't actually murder him, but <laughs> nightmare. I murdered him. But nightmare but job. I swear, was all you... over his clothes, oh, yeah, all everything. over his face. I had to take him off the I clothes. couldn't get it. I couldn't. Well, the clothes are gone. But did you sit gone. there just going Hulk nah, smash for the day? Face. Look at my little he tried, Hulk. He tried, he wanted to drink it with the cap on, but the cap was, oh. <laughs> it's like, He's so refined. You literally can't do anything with him. He knows about every gas cupboard. Already. He yeah. is. And he, because you see, the sprinkles are all in there. Of course, they're all in there so, with the other stuff. So yeah. that it loves that cupboard. Hike that up for God's sake. Yeah. What went so in now, there, Catherine? In there, we put the um, if you remember the flour, the cocoa, the eggs, four tablespoonfuls of water, and two teaspoonfuls of water. Oh, red colour. Red colour. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just combine these ingredients together to make a fairly soft enough mixture. Mm. There we have it. There we have it. Fantastic. The job is awesome. I'd be happy like out. Now. I'd be happy out doing bacon if I just got to use that. It's like a drill. Isn't I it love just, getting yeah. to use the drill when I'm DIY and hate DIY, but just Do you just not to bring drill. it back up again, but do you print your James Bond every time you use a drill <laughs> going like this? <laughs> I could do that with the... Uh, no, what do you call that? Which, the mixer? The, the, the mixer? mixer, yeah, there you go. Electric food mixer. Now, just make sure all the flour is blended through. Now, you take your bun cases. Now, by the way, depending on the size of your cupcake cases, depends really on how many cupcakes or um, buns you get. OK. So we're just going to flip these in here. And about 15 minutes ago, I put in a tray of them at 180 centigrade, 350 Fahrenheit, gas mark four. So we just put so about a tablespoon. 15 full. minutes, that's all it takes, that's right? That's all it takes to cook these, yeah. But it takes about that length of time, Tommy, to heat your oven. And it does help if the oven is at temperature yeah. before you put yeah. these in to bake. Now, these cupcake cases I have are quite small, so I get about a dozen and a half of them. So they don't so rise, obviously, very much. There's no... Well, they will rise now, as I'll show you. Well, uh, right. You get a lovely, nice, rounded top on them. That's why it's important that you add your four tablespoonfuls of water, not milk. Milk will give you a heavy mixture after baking. OK. Um, water, you get a much lighter result afterwards. So there we have our mixture Very in nice. now. We've okay. only got about a minute here, Catherine. Right, we're, we're ready for flying. off now. We're flying. Ready for off. Ready for off. She's getting ready for all the crew to have a to have a bun later on. I have Everybody. enough cupcakes to keep the whole show You're on the road. Very Catherine good to in. us. Now we'll get this out here. Get this in and take out the one we put in a minute ago. Here we go. In we go. Look at those. And that's what they look like. Out wow. they pop. Now. Brand new. They're done when you have a nice springy top on them, as you see. 
And if you think they're a little soft, don't worry. Leave them in the tray for about five minutes and then transfer them to the wire tray to cool. Can I taste that? Now, no, you I'm taste that now. Done well, holding back. I Did you get tea? I, I think coffee. these cupcakes are nice with less butter icing on them. I've given yes. two of you a lot. Mm. Cupcakes are really just tons of icing and mm. little mixture. So I just yeah, put I'm not mad, uh, a blob on top. I like this icing, but I'm more yeah about the cake than the, the actual icing. I'm the same, mm. yeah. yeah. So oh, now we good. have and this there's is the sprinkles little bit of chocolate well. sprinkles. And this is something the children will love doing. Oh, yeah, you can get everyone involved oh, with Oh, yeah, That's they'd nice. love it, love I it. I do that. So now we've cupcakes for the whole crew here today. And there we have our red velvet cupcakes. Catherine, Leiden, yes. as always, absolutely delicious. Thank My you very pleasure. much, delicious red velvet cupcakes. Thank, Thank you so much. much.